Hey, there's a new nebula that looks a lot like a cat paw, and NASA captures an iceberg that looks a little strange. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Cody Stark wants to slap you with some science. Weird. <laughs> Weird. NASA scientists have stumbled upon a bizarre rectangular iceberg. Rectangular uh -huh. iceberg? Yeah, rectangular iceberg. NASA scientists spotted it last week while doing a flyover in Antarctica. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. It's like perfect. <laughs> yes, that's what. Yeah. Looks like somebody dropped a mattress off, uh -huh. <laughs> off their cargo ship. And then Dave and Tina sat on it. <laughs> uh, see, people who saw it on social media questioned if it was real, but glacier experts say it isn't unusual to see straight lines and sharp angles on ice sheets. In fact, scientists that took the picture said it was more interested in capturing a massive iceberg the size of the state of Delaware than anything else. <laughs> uh, but he took some pictures on this one as a lark as well. Interesting. Huh. You've been slapping us on. Wow. Yeah. Snuck that in. Just thinking about uh, Space Odyssey. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, the biggest celestial footprint you'll ever see, people. NASA just released the pictures capturing a stunning nebula. Check out the Cat's Paw Nebula. The image was captured by NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope. Uh, the nebula got its name thanks to its large round features. Scientists say that the nebula is a star forming region Milky in the Milky Way located in the Scorpius, Scorpius constellation. They estimate the distance is about 5,500 light years away. So save up if you want to visit. It's going to take you a little while to get there. Uh, you can slap the side. A new study published in Nature suggests that the salty water, which is under Mars surface, could hold enough oxygen to support life. Yeah, back in 2016, the Curiosity uh, rover found high levels of manganese oxides, uh, which suggests that the planet might have some oxygen. In a study, uh, scientists found that oxygen actually dissolves in water with lower temperature and higher salt content. So you probably won't find like little creatures that look like us, but maybe you could find some microbes and yeah, stuff. Yeah, okay. All right. Right underneath the surface, that'd be kind of cool. You've been slapping science. <laughs> there you go. Back to the floor.